Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it is time for Snacks Around the World. This is the end of this box of Munch Addict. Now, this Munch Addict box is one that I subscribe to, I pay for, see, Munch Addict, upside down of course. Um, not sponsored in any way, but if they wanted to, hello, bring it. Uh, okay, the three snacks today, I've just been doing kind of three at a time, just so that we don't have like 20 days of it, because you know, one a week is fine, one a week is enough, right? Today's snacks, I think we're all in Asia territory again. Mm-hmm. And none of them are decidedly weird. I think we've had this one before. This one I think is like, must be part of a big multi-pack on the outside and they just put one of the little ones in everybody's box because I'm pretty sure these are little butter crackers that are shaped like animals. And if that's what I am looking at, this is Japan small milk butter crackers if that if i'm looking at that correctly because there are no markings on the outside of this at all and nothing on here on the little handy dandy sheet they give you matches what this looks like thanks guys all right let's jump right into it it's deborah proof i have tools I was correct. The little crackers. These were pretty good last time. And I'm not happy that we got the same two months in a row. I think that's a mango filling. They're, they're filled, they're not just crackers, which is interesting. But look at your little koala. I think that's a koala anyway. Printed on there. Not much filling, but a little filling. They're pretty good. They're still pretty good. They got the fat chick approval last, last time, and they get it again this time. But I'm not happy with the repeat, y'all. Give me different stuff. All right. From the picture, it looks like an enormous thick pocky. This is called Big Choco Sticks Crunchy. Enjoy the harmony of chocolate, crispy biscuit, and crunchy cookies. Nico's Choco Stick. Let me see if I can tell where it comes from on here. It doesn't actually say on the stick itself, but on here it says Korea. Butter biscuit sticks dipped in chocolate, Korea. Nico Chocolate Stick. But it's funny because there's nothing on it in Korean weird. It says to open it up here, so I'm going to attempt to open it their way. Oh, yeah. That's an enormous Korean Pocky, okay? That's all I can say about that. It's probably a good thing that I've not seen these for sale around here anywhere. These are so good. Mm. And it looks like nuts on the outside, but it isn't. It's cookie crumbles, y'all. Cookie crumbles in chocolate on what they call a biscuit, which is a cookie. Okay. Definitely fat chick approved. That's pretty darn good, actually. Yep, market these here, y'all. You're missing a big opportunity. Just market them here, seriously. And finally, last but not least, especially not when you see what's in it or what's supposedly in it, it's another Korea. A lot of Korean snacks in this box this month. I mean, I'm not hating that because I love Korean snacks. Um, Yuya Cheesecake. It's a cheesecake cookie. It comes in a pretty little package. And tells you how to recycle the package in Korean. I can't read Korean, so, you know, besides around here where I live, there's not diddly for recycling. Oh, it is one very pretty cookie. Look at that. 
not a strong scent of any kind. I do get hints of like a cheesecake scent, but there's, it's not strong at all. It's a soft cookie. Let's see if I can bust off a piece. Oh, it's filled. Mmm. That's pretty yummy. This would be nice to have with a cup of coffee or some tea or even a big glass of cold milk because it does leave you a little bit dry as you eat it. But it's filled, I can't make out exactly what it's filled with. It doesn't have a strong flavor of anything. You do get hint of cheesecake, but it's not an in your face cheesecake flavor. But it's pretty darn good. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Would I eat it again? Yeah. Hello. It's a cookie. It's cheesecakey ish. And uh, it's sweet and nice and good. So, yeah, Fat Chick approved. Was it my favorite thing in the box? No. But I like different things in the box for different reasons because there are many different things in the box. And you know what? I figured out what these little crackers were from before. These here, they are not what I thought. These are from Thailand. Koala March Mango Cream. Koala shaped biscuits filled with mango cream. But the package, it doesn't look like the package they show you, but that's what these are. So there you go. Still, we're living the Asian world today. So you definitely get to travel when you do snacks around the world with me. Where will we be next time? I don't know. That's the end of this box. But of course, I always have other treats and things hanging around my house. So, Because I am all about trying all the snacks from all the places. And maybe it'll be something I have to cook. We'll have to see about that. Thank you for coming by. If you get a chance to try anything from any place else, do it especially if you're where the quote natives are eating it. If you go to an Asian restaurant and the Asian person is eating whatever is there, try it. I mean, don't go over to their plate and grab it. That would be rude, you know, but don't be afraid to try new things. Ask what's in it. If you have allergies or if you have, you know, I get it. Not everybody can take Thai spice, right? Tell them, you know, make it American spice level really really low they'll do that for you and then you could try it and you can ramp that up the next time if you're really into it i'm just saying all the things try them it's a big world out there and we can enjoy most of it through food thanks for coming by i will see you very very soon bye y'all